Well, you know, I, you, Michael W. Smith started talking about his earthly father, but more importantly, his heavenly father. And there's a lot of it here that you probably don't quite understand all that maybe he was talking about. But tonight, here in a few minutes, we're going to end with a great celebration of fireworks. Now, I've never seen fireworks in the rain, so this is going to be a first for me. <laughs> but, but, they're, now, they're getting ready, but before they start shooting them here, I want to talk to you about one simple verse in the Bible. And I think most of us know it by heart. And I want you, if you know it, I want you to say it out loud with me, all right? It says, it's John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that verse right there, it's a very powerful verse. That's why you, so many people memorize it and they quote it because it's, it starts off by talking about God. And my friends, I want you to know one thing, that there is a God. Whether you believe in Him or you don't, God's existence not dependent upon your belief in Him. He still exists. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world. In other words, this God created this world. He created you. Each and every one of you here were thought of by God. God knows your name. He knows how cold you are and how wet you are. <laughs> but deep down inside, He sees all the hurt. He sees all maybe the guilt. He sees your fears. He sees all that. And you may be way in the back and you think, God doesn't see me. God doesn't care about me. But I'm here to tell you, God cares about you. And God loves you. And that's what it says. For God so loved the world. My friends, God loves you. More than anything else in this world, God loved you. And God created a perfect world. And you said, well, Will, sure doesn't feel perfect. And the problem is, my friends, we disobey God. We, we allow sin to enter the world. We allow sin to come into our life. And when we sin, that literally means that we disobey God. And each and every one of us have sinned against God. We've broken God's law. Will Graham, Will Graham is a sinner. And each and every one of us have broken God's laws, whether we realize it or not. But that's why we feel guilt inside when we do something wrong. Even if we don't go to church, even if we don't count ourselves religious, deep down inside we feel guilty. That's because we've broken God's law. But God said, the Bible says what? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. In other words, God loved you so much that He was willing to do something about it. He was willing to trade His Son for you. That's how much God loved you. God was willing to sacrifice His own Son to pay the price so that you could live. So that you could be healed spiritually. I'm talking about the healing rain, that's what it's talking about. To be healed spiritually. God loved you so much that God was willing to die just for you. My friends, that's how much God loves. All we have to do is what? Whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. My friends, all what God's asking us to do is to put His faith, put our faith and trust into Him. That, that He died for our sin. All we have to say, Lord, I want to receive that. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. You can't be good enough. All you have to do is receive it. And my friends, that's what I want to do right now. You've heard my father preach. You've heard the bands talk about. You've heard Michael W. Smith talk about. About having a personal relationship with God. Maybe you saw your friends make a decision earlier on. Maybe you just got here. But deep down inside, you realize you need Jesus Christ in your life. You need God to come in to rescue you. To change your life. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. My friends, I want to give you a chance to respond, to put your faith into God. Now there's some of you here today that you go to church and you believe in God. You go to a youth group. But right now, you're living a long ways from God right now. You're living apart from God. I want to give you a chance where you just come to know and ask Jesus to forgive you of your sin. Rededicate your life. But this invitation is for you. And this is going to be the last invitation that we're going to have here tonight. I'm not trying to prolong it, but my friends, if you want to ask Christ to come into your life and you haven't had a chance to do it tonight, and you want to do it right now, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand wherever you are right now. I just want you to raise your hand. Raise your hand. 
It doesn't matter if you're here in the front or way in the back. I want you to just keep raising your hand. Don't be ashamed. Listen, you're already wet. You're not going to get any wetter. <laughs> you just raise your hand right now. You just wave. Just kind of wave right here. And we're going to have someone that's going to come to you and just going to give you a little booklet. And they just want to pray with you. That's it. I'm not here to embarrass you. I'm not here to call you out. You keep your hand raised. Wave in the back. Keep your hand raised. Just kind of wave. Get someone's attention. This is the most important decision you'll ever make in life. I've never met a person who regretted coming to know Christ. The only time they regret is they just didn't do it sooner. Right now, listen, if you got your hand raised, keep raising. If you haven't gotten a book, then you just keep your hand raised. And if you're raising your hand, if you raise your hand, I want you to pray with me right now. I want you to pray with me right now. I want you to pray out loud with me, all right? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to come into my life. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I receive your free gift of salvation. Lord, I ask you to make me into a new person. I want to follow you now. All the days of my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, my friends, you just made the, one of the most important decisions of your life. And if you haven't gotten that material, I want you to just keep raising your hand. Don't put it down. Don't be ashamed. Just hold it up. And we'll get that material to you. My friends, this is the greatest night. Even though it's wet and miserable, man, we're loving Jesus. And we just say, thank God for what He's done for you and me. And so right now I'm going to ask my friend Nick Hall to come out and close us out. Nick. All right, Ottawa. Hey, let's make some noise one more time for Jesus in this place. Hey, Allison, if you did not get the materials that...